Hi. You gotta remember to like look at the camera, not the screen. I know. I can't help you. I need to look at the screen, camera, and say my situation. Same. I thought I was gonna have my good camera today, and that didn't happen. So my camera's here. The computer screen's here. My script is over here. Let me at least move my script over here, so maybe I'll look like I'm looking at the camera. How's my okay, audio? Okay, Jalen, crack video productions. We need to talk to Jalen with video productions because we need some help with video and production. <laughs> We're doing the thing. We're doing the thing. Um. Okay, we got six people in here. Let's give people a little bit of time because. I don't know what happened, why the uh, link was saying 10.30, but I said 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. So there's 16 people in here. So why don't I do this? I'm going to play the intro one more time. And then- oh, they say, they say we look like sisters with our matching lips. This is a uh, warrior paint. War paint. And I only- it's warrior paint today. Um- <laughs> Only put on my lipstick because I was like, oh, I'm not being a good 400 meter diva brand ambassador. So let me put on a uh, catch me if you can. <sighs> All right. We can hear you. Use your mic. Can you hear me again? All right. I'm going to play the intro one more time. Let some more folks get in here and then we're going to get into the things. I think they could hear you. <laughs> or because maybe, he said, maybe not. Maybe not. Natasha says we need to like music to go with our, um, our intro. And the I'm music, like in the booth, guys. Yeah, the music I'm that we had before, we were getting flagged for copyright. So we need some non copyright music. Um, for now, you're just going to have to get the audio list intro. All right, we got 30 people in here, 31 people in here. Um, okay. All right. We're good. Sorry. All right. <laughs> so, yes. Welcome to track girl summer. I'm your host, Natasha Hastings. This is my co-host Corey Carter, and we're bringing the culture to track and field. Oh, track girl summer, track girl summer. Follow me, Natasha Hastings, Twitter, Instagram, IG, IG and Instagram is the same thing. Facebook, YouTube, uh, follow Corey, the Corey Monster, Twitter, IG, Facebook, YouTube as well. Most important, follow Track Girl Summer. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're not watching on Track Girl Summer, that's actually where we would prefer for you to watch. But Track Girl Summer, follow us everywhere. We're coming to you every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Lord help us. <laughs> but here we are. Um, tonight, we will be covering some hot topics. You know, there's always some things going on in the trackosphere. Um, also, we'll be back on Friday, but we're, we're going to talk a little bit about Lazan. Lazan is happening tomorrow, so make sure you tune in. And Friday's episode will be a reaction to Lazan. We're... Um, gonna see some fire matchups but tonight 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 we are joined by the tiana daniels fresh off her welcome home her tokyo perform her prefontaine performance we're gonna talk about all the things all the things can i just say something sure i'm very proud of us because y'all asked for tiana on monday if you were the <laughs> on Wednesday it's like asking you shall receive asking you shall receive we aim to please over here I'm happy about it um is it time for a fit check oh god you and these fit checks <laughs> it's like literally part of the show you know it's coming every show and yet you decide to dress the way you dress Natasha when you have a closet full of clothes a closet full of clothes that I have not unpacked they're still in trash bags I look really good in Natasha's clothes. I love being in your closet. 
I might post, I might repost what I, what I posted already because me in your closet is my favorite thing. Um, but first, first of all, it's going to the hair. It says, you know, my, my teammates coming. So, <laughs> Flo knows. Oh! Then we got, you know, war paint. Parents want warrior paint. I like, I would call it warrior paint. And then just a little, little, little sweat pant, pants bit. A little matchy, a little croppy toppy. You and your croppy toppy. Ooh, excuse me. I don't know how long shirt. I might have to see wearing them. Before I get into my fit check, 47 of y'all in here. Keep sharing, keep liking. Bring some folks to the pate. Um, I'm wearing a track girl summer trucker hat. Merch coming very, very soon. Be on the lookout for that. We have hats and t-shirts coming, but tonight I'm wearing a hat. And I'm wearing um this is an Under Armour Black History Month. Um, I think it's actually Steph Curry um kind of helped out with this um t-shirt. That's what we got going on. Um, someone says they did not know there was Flow Nose merch, and you know I'm a Flo's number one fan. If there's any merch, I was gonna have it. And um, y'all want Allison? We gonna get Allison. Don't worry about it. She she she's part track girl somewhere. Now when right when she she's when she's off her world tour. <laughs> And you know what? That leads me to our first hot topic of the day because when she gets stopped, when she gets She's off of doing the first hot topic, you're you're jumping ahead. I don't. Well, the, when I wrote the script, you added this in, but okay, you know what? But what I'll say is, when she gets off the kennel, she can go to track all summer. <laughs> go ahead, you can start. Um. Well, there's really only one thing that I wanted to talk about in in an effort to save time. Corey and I had a conversation before we came on that we were like. We're keeping it to an hour tonight, right? We don't know if it's going to happen. But I just wanted to talk about the women's hundred going into Lausanne because um, I saw clips it's from... Giving world record. It's giving it's world record. It's giving world record. But also I saw clips of the press conference and I loved seeing Shelly and Elaine sitting next to each other, being playful. Shelly was like, you know, well, Elaine's closer than I am. But also, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. Um, it was it was really cool to see. It's exciting. I think tomorrow, apart from the 100, we're bound to see some great performances. Ryan Krauser was like, the fun thing about now that he throws anytime he PBs, it's a world record. I was like, okay, light flex. <laughs> light flex, you know. Um Kambuji's also there. Um, she's running, I, I believe, again in the 200. So um, Lazan is shaping up to be another hot diamond league with some dope performances to come. Of course, I'm looking forward to the 100. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I said it on Monday, and I'll say it again. I did not dream in this lifetime to see that we could be like this close to knocking on the world record. And I just want to see that world record of all of them. Right. We always saw them to be untouchable. Yeah. Also, speaking. So I, today, I was like, let me go back to these Mount Sack results, right? Metcalf ran 1037, right? Elaine ran 1054. And what I'm getting at is if Metcalf is like this is what football this is what football speed has to offer right it is like right on that right like he would have been dipping at the line what i'm saying but what i'm saying is he's the best they have to offer if we're not talking about like marquis goodwood right right like like he's like i have football speed that can maybe be track speed right um <laughs> What, what is the rest of the NFL like? And I, this is no shade of the NFL. This is only me baking up Elaine. Like, I, I kind of, like, we were talking the other day about, you saying, well, who was he going head to head with? Gosh darn it. Why am I having a brain fart? I'll have to look. Uh, oh, I don't know. DK has, I was at DK math is 230 pounds. Oh, just text me and say my volume is really low. Can you guys not hear me? Let me, let me try this. 
Um, he's 230 pounds, and those 230 pounds are full of testosterone. Elena is like, what I'm saying is, how about now? Now you have it like a spat. That's better. No, I don't. I don't like that, Tyreek. Yes. Um, I don't want to see the Tyreek versus Usain as much as I want to see Elaine versus all these guys at the combine. I just want to see these yeah. football guys head to head with Lane because I was I was I was doing the math and it was mathing. When we really sit down and think about it, uh, basically Corey, I'm just laughing because I yell when I talk. You yeah, I don't like whatever you did. That's not good. There's buzz in the background and I hear it, but Corey is loud. Um. Chauncey, no, Natasha's not going to go on a date with you. <laughs> I keep seeing that come up. That's like that fifth comic. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, is this any better? Absolutely not. No. Hi, Victoria. <laughs> Natasha, are you moving back to NYC someday? You still haven't revealed where you're staying. No, I have not. Okay, people are, saying, people are saying the, the volume's better. All right. Peter, I saw that shade, and I'm not mad at it. Um, all right. Next on our hot tops is um, Sydney is a world record holder, Olympic gold medalist, and now about to be a wife. Okay. Yeah, you're getting married. Murray. Married. Murray. Um, unlike Chauncey and Natasha. <laughs> Why are you so Mary. Because it's like this show is not The Bachelorette and I want to talk track and Chauncey's just trying to like get your hand in marriage and sometimes I need to shut things all the way down because if you don't, because people don't act right Honestly, I would have let the first one slide, but it's the fifth, sixth, seventh. But 59 people in here, guys. Like, share, comment. We appreciate the support. She's married. She's getting married to Andre LeBron Jr. Okay. Sydney LeBron. Sydney Did you McCall know that she was LeBron. dating anyone? Yeah. Oh. You, you are so old and not on the social media. I was just like in the mix, but you're not in the mix. I mind my business. True, 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 true. While I get so, in the fat girl summer and talk about people business. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm happy for her. I'm, I feel like she's taking me through this like emotional journey, like on Monday. Uh, the last, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, with her and now we're like up here high with her but I'm happy for her um yes so the cute little orange dress anything else you wanna no I'm I'm excited for her I'm happy for her I mean I think it's it's awesome to see that like she's performing well on the track she's got love in her life do he got an older brother I don't know. I'll look into it. He's a junior, so I doubt it because juniors are usually the first. Yeah, you're right. So. You're right. All right. All right. Um, well, we talked about this earlier. Allison, my my sis Allison looked good on Blade. I Those said, legs. Why so little thigh? Everybody like a little dark meat. A like, little thigh. A little thigh. Yeah. Let us know. Like, Let them know. Show the, she and you know you know I love it when you show a little clavicle. A little decolletage. Yeah, a little clavicle out. But um, it was very classy based. It was very that was it was the definition of I'm sexy without doing too much. Here I am. You gonna get this leg. <laughs> you gonna get this action. Here curls, I am. Curls were defined. Um, curls were very defined. Yes, um, really excited about 
the fact that she's just like getting to bask in everything that is her and she got to talk about her brand Sage, which have you I bought my I bought a pair of Sage. I bought a pair for my sister. I need to get a pair for my mom. Let me go back online and give me some more Sage. I support black business, support track business, and I send black women money. Mm -hmm. And that's your guys reminder to send a black woman some money today. Um, I'll probably remind you again. But uh, yeah, just I love I love seeing my friend win. And then she gotta be like, look, I was on Time magazine. Time Life magazine. Life flex. Yeah. I'm out, I'm out here promoting my shoes, my company, my brother's crazy idea that was obviously a brilliant idea. And like, if you know Allison and Wes, you know like the bond that they have. It's very, it's very strong. Like they're like, they're power siblings. I don't know, like Wonder Twins, but not twins, you know. Yeah. So, yes. Um, you can talk about this. I don't want to talk about this. Seventy-seven people. I'm gonna go to jail. So. Seventy-seven people in the room. Continue to like and share. The other night we ended at 145 viewers. Let's Do you have a fan on? Huh? Do you have a fan on? No, I saw someone ask that. Um, no. All right, we're gonna work on this. Slowly but surely, guys, we're gonna get our little. It wouldn't be Track Girl Summer if we didn't. I know you guys saw the tweets. Like, if you can see the way my leg is just, like, shaking right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to just sit. Or it wasn't yeah. tweets. It was a story post. And um, subliminals. Um, the shade room has picked it up. Um, I, I just have no words. Because I'm going to say that... Perhaps the shade room and everybody got it wrong. And maybe we're getting it wrong because I don't see what Allison said that was out of line. Allison said, I hope she has a good support system. Unkind, untrue. I, I think she has a great career, a long career ahead of her. And she likes the personality that she's bringing ISIS for. I would assume. That she's not talking about Allison because there there ain't no way. <laughs> there ain't no way. It's just like <laughs> there's no way, right? Yeah. There's no. All right. I'm, I'm good. Going because... with my audio today. I'm sorry, guys. I'll I'll unpack and find my other mic. Maybe my other mic would be better. 80 people in the room continue to like and share. Um, here's, here's what I'm going to say. And this is an she to carry. What I will say about me, myself personally, is that I am grateful to have someone like Allison who has come before me, who has fought for, for female athletes, who has personally showed me how to be a track athlete, who has helped me so much in my professional career. and. She is literally the blueprint. I like literally look at her footsteps and try to just step where she stepped because, and she carries herself with grace in class, which is why when she's done running, whenever she decides that is, because apparently she's still getting medals five Olympics later, um, she will continue to be relevant and continue to be someone who is celebrated. And that's all I have to say. I don't think anything else needs to be said. All right. Well, we're keeping it to an hour. She can't be talking about Allison. <laughs> she can't be. She can't be. All right. All right. Well, let's get in. We're moving along like really well. We Allison. are. We are. I'm proud of us. You have a You know what I appreciate? The chat is even like next topic. Because you know yeah. what? Here at Track Girl Summer. We bring the hot topics, but we're more about giving our people their flowers. And we are fans of the sport. 
but moreover fans of the people. And with that, I'm going to let Corey introduce our guest, who we are here to give her nothing but love and flowers, and take it away. Um, before I introduce our guest, I would like to say we're talking about Tiana tonight and Tiana, and then Tiana. Okay. So tonight we have a 2021 Olympic silver medalist in the four by one. She ran a killer second leg. Um, she's also the only American to hop up in that Olympic final. She also was the only American to hop up in the world championship final in 2019 in Doha. She is um, your 2019 USA champion in the hundred. In 2016, she won NCAAs indoors in the 60, and she set an American junior record with 711. And she became the fastest freshman woman in NCAA history and the number five NCAA performer of all time. And she just ran, she just ran that 1083, that 1083 at pre. Um, so yeah, give it up for my teammate, Tiana Daniels. I want to hear people clapping, but like I can't, but. Hi guys. Hi. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> Tiana is like one of the most genuine, sweetest, kind hearted person. Just chill, mellow vibes, positive energy all the time. Always, always. Hi, Tiana. <laughs> Welcome to Black Girl Summer. Hi, guys. I'm happy to be on the show. Honestly, I'm really excited. I watch y'all show, actually. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> welcome to Track Girl Summer. And as I said before we got on the line, it's the Tiana show tonight. So we're here to talk about you. We're here to talk about what's going on. We hear you got businesses. You're doing amazing things on the track. So let's let's get into the things. Let's get into the things. Corey, take it away. Um, so I've heard this story a couple times, but I find it very cute. How did you get started in track? Well, my mom isn't actually on right now. Um, Hi, mom. Shout to, yeah, shout out to Linda Lesson. <laughs> but, so when I was eight years old, um, I was racing against some of the kids in my neighborhood barefoot. And my mom saw that I was winning. So she told me to go put on some shoes and race them again. And I was still winning. So she decided to put me into a track club out here in Orlando called uh, Focus. That was my first uh, AAU track club that I was a part of in Orlando. Nice. I'm not saying that you told your story incorrectly, but <laughs> but um, she's gonna tell you you told your story incorrectly. Go ahead, Corey. Oh, well, what's up? Because I need you to highlight something. You said I was racing some of the kids. No, you're racing some of the boys and giving that business. Yeah. I need that to be highlighted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was racing the boys in the neighborhood. All right, that that's what. Come on. <laughs> Let them know how it really was. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. I've been in it for a long time. So I kind of, I, I really respect it. Yeah. Okay. I almost said I had to do the folks. Yeah. I was fast. Period. On the block. Run this. Literally. Hey, mom. She said you had on flip flops. You weren't barefoot. <laughs> she said, I, I have, I had my babies in some shoes. I feel like flip flops are even hard though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it was cool. Um, so I wanted to ask you about your welcome home because yeah. I saw the video of you coming down the escalator. It looked like you teared up a little bit. Was that mom who, whose arms you ran into? Of course. That's the first person I saw. <laughs> well, the second person I saw, I actually saw my best friend, Brittany first. I was like, what are you doing here? Like, <laughs> But, um, I was really surprised. I wasn't expecting all those people to be there. Um, to welcome me home. I actually told my mom, I was like, hey, mom, I can get a rental car and drive home. Like, you don't have to come pick me up from the airport. But she was like, no, I'm going to pick you up. And I knew something was going to happen, but I wasn't expecting that many people, like my family, to be there. I'm low key tearing up because it sounds like you're like super close to your mom. And my mom is like my best friend. My mom yeah. 
helps me with my son and she went home this weekend and I was like, so when are you coming back? No, like seriously, when are you coming back? <laughs> and yeah, it yeah, felt my like, mom is, yeah. I was not kidding when I said my mom is my ROD. Like she will fire anybody up for me. <laughs> like she, she is, oh, like, she's a real deal. Yeah, she's so a real deal. Go put those shoes on and go beat them boys up some more. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Especially since, you know, um, my dad isn't with me anymore. Mm -hmm. um, he passed away in 2018. So I really cherish my relationship with my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't get me crying at the beginning of the interview. We still have, like, things to talk about. Pray for it. I'm, 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 you see the smile on my face? No, but <laughs> I definitely agree with you. My mom knows nothing, nothing about track other than that. I run it, but she's the best athlete for it that there is. Like, she's like, I don't know anything about track, but I know you like your pineapples. Brought them for you. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. She's, she's like, like, do you need anything? You need me to bring anything? Like, oh, she, yeah, she's always on it. <laughs> and that probably made up for the fact that you, like, we were in the COVID Olympics, so you weren't able to, you know, hug your mom after you got your silver medal. Um, yeah. So, to have your community around you, especially since you probably went away from them for very long, because I know for a fact you didn't go home during the summer, during the COVID. COVID. We were out here, homeless, going from track to track. <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you already know how it was. Oh my goodness, those COVID uh, workouts were just like, okay, we're still running, we're still practicing in this hot Texas sun. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it was. Yeah, it, it made it. It made it even more better uh, to compete at the Olympics this year because of the long that we had. But um, you know, I'm, I'm happy how it went. And are oh, you gonna ask go me? Go ahead. Go ahead. I didn't know how this pin ended up in my hand. Um, but what I was gonna say is, you mentioned you mentioned your dad. You lost him in 2018. How like, and then months later, you came back to to win. Mm -hmm. I huh. I was saying thank you, Peter. Oh. Um, and then <laughs> much later you had to come back on the track to win conference. How did you like deal with that and like channel your energy and just like kind of like work through the grief? Cause I I don't know how you did it, girl. Yeah. I mean, Texas has a great support system um there for me during that time. And also the coaching staff was very supportive for me then at the time too. They told me not to, to rush it or anything, but I came back, uh, I want to say during uh, indoor conference as well. And I just tried to come back for my team. I mean, my dad was a big part of my life and a big part of my track life. So I didn't want to, um, you know, be down out, down and out too long. Cause I know he wouldn't want that. So and I know he's a big fan of you because I heard he got a long corn tattoo. My dad loves me, but he ain't getting he ain't getting no Stanford tree. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know the crazy thing is he was such a Gators fan. He wanted me to go to Florida, uh University of Florida so bad. But I was actually gonna I was actually gonna go to Florida State. And that was actually my school that I was actually gonna commit to. But then I went to my official visit to the University of Texas and I was like, ooh. I think I got to come to Austin. <laughs> and as soon as I did, he was so supportive. He he did. He got the Longhorn uh, tattoo, like, I think, like, right here on his on his arm. But, yeah, he was always supportive of anything that I do. Well, Emmanuel Alozi wants to know what made you choose to go to Texas. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, whew. If you've ever been to Austin, I think you would know. <laughs> I mean, Austin has it all, honestly. Like, it has the college life, but it also has that separation to, like, life. Like, you know, if that makes sense. Um, uh, yeah, it was always, like, kind of, it was, I don't know. It was just like a good balance. And also the school was amazing. Like, the academics there are, like, top tier. Um, and also, the like I said, the coaching support was also another thing. And, and also Black Girl Magic. Tantra Bifra Bailey was um, my coach at the time. So I definitely was attracted to the fact that there was a woman, black woman coach that I would do it. Yeah, there's not a lot of us out here in the coaching roles on a collegiate level. Sure. Speaking of Texas, so you get to Texas, Tantra your coach, then here comes Flo. And, you know, you know, I, 
I tell everyone like I you know, everyone knows I love my coach all the way down but I also tell him like he's the hardest man to work for so if you don't if you don't want to be the best <laughs> be so yeah you gotta have some yeah you gotta have real thick skin to to be coached by Flo but he he cares he cares so much for his athletes uh he wants to see everybody be you know successful so that's what I appreciate the most from him and so you had a great collegiate career you go pro you decide to stay at Texas what made you want to stay with Flo and train with him oh uh, man I was actually going to transfer I talked to uh, not not it was this was before I found out that flow was coming. So when I found out that we were going to have a coaching change, I actually had a meeting with the um, previous coaches and I said, OK, what should I do? And they were, you know, telling me to put my name in a portal. You know, you just never know what's going to happen. So I had uh, another conversation with the AD and he was like, just wait, just wait until we announce it. And I was like, OK. And so when I saw that, you know, flow was coaching I was like I'm staying like what <laughs> like like Flo is one of the best coaches in NCAA um oh <laughs> right. like I mean he he's gotten some amazing ladies to drop some great times and I was like I mean if he can do that for in Kentucky I mean <laughs> you and me like <laughs> you know that's all I was thinking so um yeah and I mean, he got me down to 1083 so let's just keep going <laughs> are we gonna get to that 1083 yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's we talk about it. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. <laughs> but is... you've, been, you've been a joy to watch uh, even before. I mean, I remember watching you at NC's at Texas. Um, and just, I don't like using the word sneaker, but I connect with, like, the underdog. Because it's like, yeah, y'all like to sleep on me, but <laughs> I'm going to come through and win this championship. <laughs> I'm gonna come through and drop this time. Don't forget about me over here. You know, is Tiana underdog? Because I feel like she's very consistent. I just feel like y'all don't be giving her the respect. That the, she deserves. the respect that she deserves. Yes, exactly. But she's not underdog to me. Exactly. <laughs> hey, if this if this one thing though, I'll tell y'all, Corey will hype me up on my on my worst days. Corey be like, "But you're the fastest one in America." Like she will hype me up so hard, and I and she like Corey is is definitely somebody that I have to show some appreciation to because oh. even though it seems like I you know not might not be paying attention or like might not feel what you say, I feel it, and I you make me believe it. So for sure, yeah. <laughs> Corey, Corey, you know Corey's heart is is stone. So I know, I know. But the love first of all, giving wait, her. I don't, here's the thing: I I don't hype Tiana up. I literally just tell her facts about herself. <laughs> I literally just read her bio to her. It's not hype if it's true. Tiana, but thank you. I appreciate that, Frenna. You know. I we were gonna leave the shave in the, the hot topics, but that's not shade. It's not that's hype not if it's true. Okay. <laughs> I had to look directly um, into the camera for that. This is something I wanted to ask you about because I'm glad Claudette said Tiana is one of one. I'm gonna say one of my body goals. It's up there. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I posted it earlier. Sorry. But we've talked about. I've seen you talk about it on on IG. Talked about it on Flow Trap. Um, dealing with body image. And I, Natasha, why am I small? Oh, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> I'm big. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was scrolling through the comments. I don't know what happened. Oh, this is so <laughs> professional. Sorry. All the matriarchal stuff. But <laughs> it happens. It happens. I was going to have Natasha talk a little bit because Natasha, you have talked about. Yes, I have had my own journey with body image, and Ooh. it is an ongoing thing, something that you constantly deal with. And we have seen you talk candidly about it and I think that you know sometimes people are like but how you look amazing you I look at you and I'm like you you look amazing you're fit you're powerful you, you ran 1083 <laughs> you're fast <laughs> like what do you mean 
Um, talk to us a little bit about that. I feel like, you know, I always say that sometimes as athletes, people feel like we're superheroes, but you know, we are, we are superheroes, but we have very human issues as well that we have to work through. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Um, it took me a very long time to be comfortable in my skin. Like, you know, cause I've always, uh, I've always like been the bigger athlete mm -hmm. and I hate to say that, but that's for lack of better terms. I've always been that like thicker, uh, stronger athlete. So um, in high school, I actually, my coach for high school actually decided for me to lift more so I can offset my weight, my power and my weight going down the track. So I kind of just been honing on to that mm -hmm. for a long time. But this year has changed my perspective on like how I view my body. Like I'm more accepting of where I am in the moment instead of where I want to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously where I want to be is very important, but I have to love where I am now so I can get there. That makes sense. So um, definitely like my, uh, the nutritionist dietitian actually for USATF, Ms. Glass, she helped me. Um, kind of get a healthy relationship with food because I didn't have a healthy relationship with food, if I'm being honest with you. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, that. And I think people would be so surprised to hear how prevalent that is in athletes and especially female athletes, right? That like mm -hmm. we can have, I've talked about having roommates in college and like very clearly seeing like, ooh, that's an eating disorder because yeah. of... The things that we're telling ourselves, but also even some of it, I, I think, you know, what you pointed out earlier about having a female coach, you know, in some instances, the male coaches <laughs> are speaking to female athletes in ways that they don't realize that they shouldn't be. And it happens with women, too. Let me be clear about yeah. it. I think sometimes women can be even harder on um, female athletes, but mm -hmm. um I think I applaud you for being vulnerable and sharing that because I think the more and more that we continue to share the things that we do go through as athletes, you know, it mm -hmm. makes us more relatable, but also, you know, there's someone out there that can relate to that and really yeah. um, find yeah. inspiration. For sure. Like, I, I, like I said, I'm human as well. And actually I have to admit that this for the past, like three to four months, I have not looked at the scale. Like, cause I don't, girl. Yeah, because I don't, I don't, I don't even want to, because I know I feel great right now. So I don't want to mentally mess myself up. Like, oh my gosh, I dropped down because da, 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 da. But like, as long as my body feels great, I, you know, it is what it is. I just let flow handle that, that part when we have to like, you know, weigh in and stuff. I have the same mentality. I don't look at the scale. People ask me, how much do you weigh? I don't know. I look good enough. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't put that negativity into my life right now. <laughs> and it's also deceptive because we're a, a lot of muscle. Yeah, yes, exactly. I like to feel like a boxer and just pretend I'm weighing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yes, but Natasha, that's exactly how I feel. It's like, I don't want that negativity in my life, good or bad, because when it's good, I'm like, okay, I can slack off a little bit. But if it's bad, it's like, oh, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I get so, it. I wanted to ask you two questions. One, what does a healthy relationship with food look like to you? And two, you said that this year you finally learned how to love your skin. Like, how did you get to that place? Well, I would say for the first question, what's a healthy relationship with food? I feel like not putting too much into like what you eat. I mean, at first, yes, I did count my calories. I was very like strict on what I did but once I got that routine and and respected that routine I didn't indulge like that's that's I feel like that's the key like don't indulge like you can like have a piece here or there maybe but don't go overboard don't eat that whole bag big bag of chips <laughs> you know um yeah and what was your second balance and moderation is it yeah yeah it yeah, yeah. Be like, I'm yeah. laughing because I'm the opposite like if like, if you want that glass of wine, have that glass of wine, but like, don't have the bottle. <laughs> Hello. See, I, I, never, I don't do well with gray. I'm black or white. So if you tell me I can have a little bit, like, what's a little bit? 
you know? But if you told me I can't have it, I won't have it at all. Like if Flo tells me oh. not to do something, I won't do it. No. But that's how but, I work. And I think I think part of it is like figuring out how you work you. and how you're great. Yeah, and like, right, right. And how to right. discipline it yourself. Right, right. That's exactly what it is. Like, can I can I be honest though right now? Please be honest. Before the day of that of that race that I ran, um, ten eighty three of this last past weekend, I had a bagel, like a a bagel, like sausage sandwich, egg sandwich, and I was like, I never do this, but I was like, you know what, uh, I'm gonna have it today because I yeah. deserve it. That's what your body was craving. Like that's what yeah. your body needed. Yeah, yeah. I but needed also, that. I just want to say, sometimes when you give yourself that love. Yeah, you have the best races. Best races. When you love on yourself like that, you take the some of the pressure off of yourself, and you go out there right. and just go have fun. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, that, that like, thing, you better eat that bagel again before your next track meet. Like, hello, I might have to. <laughs> I might have to go back. <laughs> well, you I, know, I, like, I had a bagel sandwich. I thought you had to be like, I had three gallons but, of ice cream. Right. <laughs> <laughs> literally though, but literally though, I literally have like oatmeal and like eggs. Yeah. For breakfast yeah. before meats. But like this time I was like, no matter how nervous you are, oatmeal will go down. <laughs> right. That's, right. That's a staple. Like I know I can get the oatmeal down. Breakfast, lunch, or doing right. dinner. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. But definitely that yeah, that's and that's what I mean with the healthy relationship with food. Like I now I feel like I can, you know. I mean, I eat what I want, but like, you know, still be fine. You have control over it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fun fact: I just got a text from Coach Lewis that, that just says "Tropical Summer." Don't know what. I don't know if he's watching, but he just texted me. Hey, Flo. Flo, Flo retweeted uh, Tiana's tweet today when she's he retweeted our tweet um, that we were back tonight, and then he also retweeted <laughs> Tiana tweeted so. Flo, Flo knows. Flo's watching. Hey, Flo. Are you still doing Airbond? Because a lot of people are like, oh, they they want to know about nutritionists and nutrition. Is that something that you're still participating in? People yeah, go yeah, to you? Still, yeah, yeah. I'm still, I'm going to take my jacket off. I'm still an ambassador for uh, for Airbond as well. Um, that definitely helped kickstart my, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that definitely uh, kickstarted my like healthy relationship with food, being a part of our bond and uh, having those products and stuff. Because the pro- protein powders, I use it to make like waffles in the morning. So good, so good. Yeah. But I oh and I and I want to add that as well. Like one thing that I definitely changed within like my eating habits, I added more protein to my um to my diet. I wasn't getting enough protein. So fun tip. My other question was, um, how did you learn to love the skin that you're in? And I also, like, completely got distracted because you took your jacket off. And I'm like, you look so freaking good and so freaking strong. <laughs> yeah. And you look beautiful. And you guys know how I feel about clavicles. Okay. <laughs> A little decolletage. Oh, yes. Yes. This is actually, like, because uh, everybody, a lot of people ask about my W. Uh my dad's name was Willis, so I got a gold W. And it can also mean, like, when, like, I have a lot of different sayings. Um, and this one, my best friend gave it to me. And it has the day my dad passed, so it's kind of like a little reminder of, like, why I still run. So yeah. I have never spoken to you, and I'm just, like, in awe of you. You're so sweet. Oh, I, I feel oh, your energy oh, through the camera. I, I love you. It's just advice. They, they call me on <laughs> Call me auntie, okay? I you just okay. <laughs> you give little sister vibes, little niece vibes. You, I, I love it. You're sweet. I'm sorry, Corey. Do your thing. <laughs> I already asked the question, like, but how do you learn? Oh, like, how, 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 how do I? How do I learn? How to, you know. Huh? Uh, you said you said you said how did I how did I learn how to live how to love the skin that I'm in? Right. Mm-hmm. Your beautiful okay. skin that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> um, I, f- I really truly feel like my affirmations in the morning. I used to always like, well, not used to, I still do. I write down affirmations. I write down positive things about myself and like my goal for the day. Like one of my goals for, for daily on my mirror at home is, um, I want to, I want to move with intention and love, like with everything that I do. 
So um, that's one thing that I that I incorporated in like my daily process, I guess, to appreciate who I am as a person. And also like when I started my yoga journey to get my certification in um, in I want to say March, but I got my certification in May. The my t- like my class was so supportive of me, like it built my confidence to, like a whole new level. So now I'm a yoga instructor as well. So that's shameless plug. <laughs> you're, you're taking the steering wheel. First of all, I love the affirmations. I do affirmations as well. Um, Very important. And the then just the affirmations just like lit up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I preach affirmations. I live by affirmations. Um, I'm starting to do them with my son. We have a mirror in here that like now that he's going yes. to school, we do little things in the mirror before we leave. But I, I love yes. affirmations. But you're taking the steering wheel because right, shameless right, plugs right. that's what you're here for. Because <laughs> um, we did get some questions in the chat about your um, yoga and meditation. So so talk to us. But before you get into that, there's 131 of you in here. Continue and before to we share. Get to continue to I'm, like. I'm, Tiana's in here giving us her beautiful, bubbly, lovely soul. <laughs> Thank get, you. get some more people in here, okay? Um, before we get into your yoga journey, I would just like to disrespectfully say that I have been asking you to take me through a yoga class for months before she was, I, had, I was like, like I need to be hours to get certified. Let me be an hour. Yeah, I'm trying to get flexible. I've been, I'm trying to I've been on my my right. in his split. I'm gonna just have yeah. a, a slight into the side. I got you. We go back. We go back soon. So I got you. All right. But your yoga journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been doing yoga since high school, honestly. But like, I was, oh, y'all, I was actually so scared to start uh, my journey to be certified, though. I was like so nervous <laughs> because I'm really bad with, I wouldn't say I'm really bad. I have a challenge with public speaking sometimes. So to be in front of um, a bunch of, you know, women that are interested in the same things I'm interested in, but like totally different worlds than I'm in, it was kind of like a different type of experience, but they poured so much love and like good energy into me and just really like helped with my confidence. So, yeah. I, I, I loved it, but I also loved how you were like, I'm really bad. No, let me change my language. I have a challenge. <laughs> with come on girl yeah come they on, talk girl. but they taught me that they all said, the vibes yeah like don't 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 declare that the negativity negativity over yourself just say it's a challenge like and challenges can be overcome so yeah <laughs> and did, y'all so dope. That? did y'all catch that don't declare yeah. negativity over your life it's a challenge and challenges can be overcome yep. come on uh, and I think it's so dope because I think Natasha and I talk about like sometimes track can be all consuming and we don't get to explore the other facets of our lives and you make time for that. And like, I also think it's the same kind of Mary where yoga can help you with track. Um, but I think a lot of times we just like, Oh, I have to do just track, 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 track. And this is all I am. And like, you're, but you're not, you're more than one dimension. And I think that's really dope. Um, Thank you. Cornell was like, this is cute and whatever, but I'm trying to talk about how Tiana was tearing up this track on this relay on this. T- <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I want to hear about your Olympic journey because you not only were on the on this the silver medalist four by one, but you also were the only American in that Olympic final. Um, what is it like to you know be carrying all of Team USA on your shoulders because you did it in the Olympics, you did it in, in 2019. Hold on. I mean, <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, I don't even look at it like that. I look at it as, you know, just me just I trying to accomplish like that. Goals. I honestly, like, it's, it's just me, a couple, like, scraping off goals that I have for myself. I wanted to make Olympic final. I wanted to make the World Championship final. I wanted to compete in Diamond Leagues after my senior year. Like, it was, I'm just scratching off things that I wanted to do. Um, I don't really look at it as, like, me, like, representing 
fully like you know like I don't I don't see it like that but I guess people see it like that I mean I always <laughs> yeah it's like it's you know the Olympics was another race the world championships was yeah. another race but I think it's mm-hmm. also something to be said about doing things when they count and being there you know being on the and team being in the final making it through rounds mm-hmm. you're young you've got a couple more Olympics in you you're I hope a few because 1083. I mean, Chilean is showing. Chilean is showing that I could be in my thirties and still running fast. So <laughs> I'm, <Yeah>. I'm ready. <laughs> Absolutely. I am ready. Laura. Yeah. Laura. We we just <laughs> talked. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Don't worry. But, don't worry, Laura. To your to your yoga question. Oh, we, Jennifer, we what? talked I'm about sorry. it. But oh. <laughs> Well, I'm still going to I'm still going to plug that post this video. The video will live. There will be timestamps so you can skip to the different no, parts of the video. I realize what she's asking, but I still want to say that there are timestamps for you to go back and watch. So if there's anything that you missed, you want to hear again, you can just go right to that part of the video. I love that you like we got together guys, we finally got timestamps. <laughs> Thanks to Aisha. Yeah. Aisha be coming through with them them time stamps. Um, Thank you. Aisha is track. Aisha is track girl summer. Uh, but yeah, okay. So you're just light work, crossing off goals, which I, I love. I, yeah, and I also feel like my experience in the World Championship final kind of carried on to the Olympic final because I was like, I mean, I've been here before. I raced these ladies before. Like, I'm not that fear was away. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Come yeah. <on. laughs> Hey, shout out to you, Mr. Campbell. Um, we already had Big up yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we out. So let's talk about this relay. Working with your training partner, Jenna, handing yeah. you just, well, you didn't do that handoff because I was before. Um, but because I I handed it off to you at Texas Relays. I was like, you've done this handoff, but you had it. Um <laughs> Which was scary. Look, let me tell you something. This we're t- we're gonna talk about this Olympic <laughs> Olympics, mm-hmm. but I did tell y'all about this this Texas relay four by one. Oh yeah. I could not get the stick to her at practice. I said, "Look, Tiana, don't worry about it." <laughs> the gun we're gonna get it. Off. <laughs> and we got it done. Done. We got it done. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why Coach Flo was like, you'll be taking from Jenna Prandini and giving to Tiana Daniels. Make it happen. <laughs> hey, hey, Cor- Corey, you was moving though. I was like, okay, Corey, hold on. <laughs> Let Look, me get right here. <laughs> you was moving, Look, Corey. You was on that curve. I was at all. Because if, if there's one thing I'm not going to do, is, is it's embarrass Flo. Uh, <laughs> not embarrass yourself, but not embarrass Flo. No, like Noted. I can bury embarrass myself all day, but not dad. Um, Noted. But no, let's talk about this Olympic four by one. Mm-hmm. How was oh, that like? What was the experience? I like I just love okay, first of all, your interview after the first round gave me so much yes. joy. You could see that you were having fun. Yeah, I was, man. It was so much fun. I was like, man, I dreamt about this. I dreamt about being in the Olympics. Like, I'm going to enjoy every single moment of this. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> I, w- I like, wish this- I had that, like, at my first Olympics. That That is definitely a regret that, like, you should absolutely live in every moment of the Olympics. Enjoy every moment of it. And to come home with the silver medal, continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I really love you, man. I love your energy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that I a lot. Like <laughs> <hour. laughs> oh, how, are we all over the time? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Tiana show. Come okay. on. <laughs> Listen, <if I laughs> hopefully that comes true. Eric, George, trying to meet Tiana. That's, 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 my, that's my little brother, man. Shout out to him. That's literally oh, my sorry. little brother. Um, okay, so like I know I, I, I've, seen <laughs> I've seen you in the gym. Tiana when she has Tiana when she squats, y'all, like she's just like all all the plates, add them on, put them on. But 
we've been bench pressing, getting the traps ready so they yeah. so that they can carry the weight of an Olympic medal. <laughs> I mean, the, the <laughs> Like tell the weight room was my like, favorite thing. I love, oh, I love the weight room. Uh, that's my favorite. That's my like. Besides the yoga mat, weight room is like, yeah, it's nice. I actually, I actually like. After I'm done with track, I want to be like an international like yoga instructor where I like host retreats all over the world. But another like thing that I'm interested in is doing um like bodybuilding, like maybe going to the Olympics for that, maybe being like the first person to go to Olympics for the for the bodybuilding. I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, yeah. That's fun fact. What I love is like I feel <laughs> it's funny to me because when you think of a yogi and you think of a bodybuilder, you think of two completely different, different people. Person. Easy. Yeah. They're all the same. They're all the same. They're all the yeah. same. Yoga, honestly, honestly, Corey, like yoga is what you make it. Like this is yoga right now. Like this, like <laughs> we're talking to y'all. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to say, what I was trying to get to originally was like, well, what's it like having that Olympic medal? Where is it? Where? Who's got it? Your mom? You? You know, who got it. <laughs> my, mama, my mama got it. Yeah, my mom definitely has that's that medal right, right now. <laughs> it's not with me at all. <laughs> it's about right. Yeah, I, 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 I hate to bring this up, but like, how was mm -hmm. how was the Olympics without mom being there? Because I mean, I think we all dream about going to the Olympics and we dream about our family being there. But nobody dreamed of going to the Olympics in the middle of a panini. So, like, how did you manage, like, I know Flo was there, which, you know, having coach there is probably the most important thing, honestly. But, like, yeah. not having, you know, your support system, were you able to have that athlete moment that they had at the mixed zone where you could see your family watching? Tell us a little bit about how you navigated, but were still able to perform without having, you know, mom and usual support there. Yeah. I mean, my mom's energy is unmatched. So like having her there would have been such a bonus. But I always feel that love and support from a distance, regardless of where I am. I mean, I moved away from home. So, you know, being separated from my family is kind of like the usual. So I, you know, I, I just have that mental system of like, I know they still support me regardless of where I am. Mm -hmm. Um but in Tokyo, I mean, I, I made sure I called them every time I woke up because, you know, it was a 14 hour difference because I'm my family's in Orlando, Florida. Um, so it was a 14 hour difference. So I made sure every time I, I woke up, they were in the middle of their day, but I still had, you know, gave them time to for us to talk. And, you know, it was. Yeah, I, I still tried to find connection with, with them, even though I was in Tokyo. <laughs> and I feel like you know, the Olympics is such an emotional high. And it's like, that's the main goal you cross us off about. How do you refocus and go out and run 1083, like just after getting your Olympic silver medal because you're an Olympic medalist as a, because you went to the Olympics as an Olympian to get a silver medal. But hold yeah. on, let's, let's, let's set the stage, right? Because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> set, the, set the scene, set the scene. Because we come off of Tokyo, an emotional, roller coaster slash high slash silver medal then i gotta stay focused because i've got for me hmm? you could she could have easily just been like did my job I'm for done. no more season wow. i'm i'm done and then you you go to the prefontaine classic that mm -hmm. the prefontaine in itself is a big enough meat that's pressure um I know that your sponsor requires you <laughs> to be there. Um, Most of the check. And the hundred, <laughs> the women's hundred was hot. Very. And Tiana Very. said, <laughs> not without Tiana Daniels. From lane one. From lane one. From lane one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for setting the scene. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to do. <laughs> but no, nah, but um, 
after the Olympics, I, I when I got home, I was so tired. I was like, I gotta go to practice. Okay, let me go to practice. Let me refocus. Let me, you know, it was that the jet lag hit so bad. That first week, I was sleep I, I did, every that, that stage. The jet lag, yes. Yeah, the jet lag hit me bad. I was out every time, every chance I got to get, be in my bed, I was in my bed. Like, <laughs> like it, it hit me bad. But, um, and even pra- my practices weren't good either that first week I got back I was like ugh, I was really really on a on a downwards barrel spiral but and also the not to ruin the moment but the death of uh, Cameron also kind of hit me hard as well um so those emotions back and forth of being happy but also like being sad and like still like being like okay I still have to go to practice like all of that really weighed on me but the week of pre, I just kind of had a different mindset. I That weekend, I, I really gave myself time to rest. And I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just finish this out. I'm going to go try my best. Um, the pressure's not on me. So let, I'm just going to go do what I do and compete. And so walk yeah. us through. That is 10, 8, Yes. Take, take us through it. You're in lane one. Mm-hmm. Now... I'm, I I feel like this is an unfair question because my better or best races, I don't really remember. Mm-hmm. And, and 1083 yeah. just seems like ugh, you blink and you're over. Like, but, <laughs> but, honestly, but, like, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, no, take take me through it. The gun, your, I, her, the, the call room. <laughs> yeah. The, the ladies, take your clothes off. Yeah. Like, on your mark. Like, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was really chilling. Like I was like, "All right, last one. Like let's just, let's just you know see see what happens." And I was having some great block starts, like popping out before. Like I just had the best energy. I was like, "Where was this all season?" <laughs> I just had the great. Did Flo like, think you were gonna run fast like that? What'd you say? Did Flo feel like you were gonna run fast like that, or was he shocked? I believe. I mean, he always knew that I. I can run fast. I feel like, you know, there was no doubt at that, 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 you know, that's. I'm going to tell you something. I'm not sure. I wasn't really about that in because Tiana, Tiana came to practice one day and she's like, I had a dream I ran 10 6. And I was like, and the funny thing is, the way she said it, I fully, I was like, I believe that. Like, I don't know what <laughs> thought has to, but I fully fit in my chest. Hey, hey, it, hey, it happened. I, and honestly, like, yeah, I just kind of had like kind of a carefree, not carefree, but like kind of like a chill attitude. Um, but when I was in the blocks, they were like the crowd got really rowdy. And one of the uh, gunmen guys, he uh, was talking and I was like, OK, let's just get up because this is y'all. This is too much. Y'all, we are down for too long. Our adrenaline is already pumping. Let's start over. So I put my hand up. That's why I put my hand up. That's why they restarted the race. But um, did ask that earlier. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why they restarted the race because I was like, I'm, I'm not focused right now. So mm-hmm. yeah, sorry y'all. <laughs> but um, yeah, but I went back. Give us the deets. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I this, hey, this is what I'm here for. Yeah, let me talk. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so when I got out I was like okay that was a pretty fast start like I was all right I, this is literally my thought process as we're running I was like that was a pretty fast start and then I realized I'm still kind of up there I'm like where's everybody else like I'm like I'm like what's happening right now and when I crossed the finish line I didn't even see uh Sharika next to me so I was like okay you know that was pretty good time I you know I I think it was pretty good then when I saw Elaine's time I was like what did I run? I was, I was like, what? And then I looked up. I was like, wait a minute. What? I just went 1083. Like I would have said, I honestly would have been satisfied with like a 10, nine. I honestly would have been fine. But when I saw that, I was like, oh yeah, this guy's living now. Like y- y'all can't bring me down. I don't care what anybody says. Like I just, I just went 1083. <laughs> so yeah. Was it like a uh, Corey and I have talked about, um, you know, like some of the the world records that we're seeing now, the the meat records and stuff, where it's like something seems so out of touch once upon a time, right? Like mm-hmm. 51 in the 400 hurdles, 10-5, like yeah. now 10-8. Do yeah. you feel like, mm, 
I can go 10, seven. I can go yeah. six. It's it's like the you have to see a, it or do it yeah. to believe that like. Yep. Yep. Exactly. That's ex- that's exactly how I feel. It's like, okay, I did it. What else can I do? Like that's kind of like how I feel, honestly. Um, yeah. No, I mean, Flo always said, talk, talk to me. I'm like, you can run ten seven. You can run ten seven. But now to see that Elaine is running ten five, like. Yo, like, what else can I do? Like, I'm so, I'm so excited just to see the ev- uh, the evolution of of where we're at right now with sprints. Like, cause I'm a student of the game. Like, I'm a student of track and field. I love, especially the hundred. Like, I can tell you, I've watched, I've watched Shellyann race, uh, her for multiple like of her races many times. Like, I, I am a student of the game. Like, I, I and I'll admit that. I don't, I don't really care what anybody says. <laughs> I'll let me try. Yeah. Yeah. So I respect I respect my competitors. I respect I respect everybody because it's like I know where it takes to get there and I know what it takes to be on this line right now. So I'm not finna sleep on nobody <laughs> like and nobody at all because everybody's bringing their A game. So. Um, so, yeah. So like just to see like where we're going with the with this with track is it's amazing. Like everybody's running fast times right now. Like it's mm-hmm. it's unbelievable. And like you said earlier in the in the before I got on, you were saying that you don't, you never saw in your lifetime that, you know, the Flojo record could be touched and it, it truly might like for real. And, and you're, so you're there, like, you're in it. Yeah. It's so, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool to me. And this is why I love you. It's the joy that you have talking about other people's successes, because it's you know, cool. that's going to contribute to your success, but also like, you're just genuinely happy to see people run fast, even if it's not you, I think is so telling of your character and like, and how like humble and genuine of a person you are. I just, thank you. <laughs> just like, like you could see it. You're, you're just like, cause I, I think you're kind of like me in that, like I'm in the sport, but I'm also still a really big fan of my yeah, sport. I <laughs> I'm still I it over. Like, Oh, that's, that's so-and-so that's so, he just, ran, you know, yeah. Uh, no, your energy is definitely very, very pure. Very, thank you. I love it. Thank and you. I, I and, and some people might not know that because I'm very quiet. Like I'm, I don't really. I don't yes. Really talk to other people. <laughs> that's, like, that's, that's why I was like, I've never spoken to you before, but I'm like, oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> I'm, I'm a very, I'm a very quiet and reserved person, but. I, I admire everybody that I'm, that I'm around. Like I've been very appreciative about being around a lot of greatness. So, yeah. We love to see it. Aisha wants to know if you have any plans for the off season. I'm always curious about other athletes off season. I used to always like plan a big trip or like yeah. and not invite me. Um Oh Lord, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, well, I'm, I'm definitely not. No, I, I'm spending like this this next two weeks, I'm spending some time with my family in Orlando. This is actually the longest I've been in Orlando since twenty fifteen. So um I'm pretty excited to like just be around my family and have some downtime with them. Um, <laughs> come to Jamaica. Hey, don't tempt me. <laughs> but <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna take a little vacation for myself, kind of get away from you know the chaos and trying to kind of wind down and get ready for next next season. Cause I mean I have five weeks off, so um, well five weeks off without having to see flow. So Sometimes it's like, I don't want to see you no more. Like, I just don't want to. Yeah. Well, if I give you some auntie advice, because it sounds like you're already thinking about tomorrow. Enjoy this. Yeah. Okay. Take your vacation. Love on yourself. You're going to have a lot of time. (laughs) And a lot, you, you already know the work that has to be done and that you will do. Take this mm. five weeks to enjoy it because yeah. I'm 35 and I'm like, whoo, where did the time go? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. you thank you. You mentioned you being a quiet person, and I don't know if you remember this. We were, we were, we were regionals. We were regionals, mm-hmm. and Tiana was my, was my roommate because we're volunteer coaches at Texas. And I like turning you to bed and I'm really big into how athletes mentally prepare to get into races. And I turn to you, I'm like, 
what do you do to get like yourself prepared? Cause you're such a chill person. And I like, everyone knows I run on anger and rage and I love to be hype. And like, I turn to a monster and you'd even, we were talking about you. I'm like, I'm just like chill. Like, Oh dang, I'm having pretty good starts. And like, <laughs> for your so what is your, like, what is your mentality going to races? Like, what are you just talking your affirmations? Do you like, I don't know. What do you do? Cause I, well, that well, I'm sure well, as every, as, yeah, as everybody knows, we do a shakeout the morning of your race, obviously. Like I did, I do a little, sh I do like a 10 minutes to shake out, um, get some coffee, go on a 20 minute walk. But then I just kind of like, I chill, like I trust my training. So it's like, like track meets are the fun part. Like, why am I putting so much tension and stress into do, running for 10 seconds and I do six 200s you know and die on the track <laughs> like, like like that's really the 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 fun part so like I'm gonna just enjoy it and I have one more question Natasha don't get mad at me I know I'm not mad. mad I'm enjoying this I'm Tiana is a breath of fresh air <laughs> thank you <laughs> because I I I, I watch I've been you know I was doing my research, even though I'm with you every day. <laughs> and so, I, I, heard, I meant to ask you this when we were talking about body image, but mm -hmm. I wanted you to, to say why you wear briefs when you put on your uniform, why you pick that as your uniform bottoms. Because like I, at a point in my life, I was so subconscious about my thighs and my butt and how big they were. But then it's like, it's like now, like I'm feeling fun that like, I got it. Let me let me show it. Like, like I'm, you know, it's it's no point of hiding it. Like it's there, and I no shade no tea because I say yeah. it makes you happy. Do what you want to do, but there yeah. are a lot of women out there that's spending money for them thighs and that booty. Okay, <laughs> I'm a heavy yeah. flaunt hey, it. Hey. Okay, <laughs> okay. Like all I got, all I got is upper hamstring and lower back. I ain't got nothing <laughs> back there. Okay. And, and you know, like wearing the one piece too, I never really want wear the one piece. So I was like, you know what? Let, this is the right, last race. Let me just, let me just put this on. <laughs> yeah. But I love that you're like making a statement with like your uniform and telling girls like, love your body. This is strong. This is beautiful. This is fast. This is 1083. And I yeah, think that you make want to is I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all be sleeping on Tiana Daniels, and I'm tired of it. This is a Tiana Daniels stand account. Also, um, Thank I you already told it. you I can do it once, so let's do it twice. Send a Black Women's Monday today. Tiana Daniels has merch. She, it's, she's on Fan Arch. If you want the link, it's in the description of, of this video. Um, her her logo's cute. She's she's been like fiddling with her logo pretty much all year because she knew she was gonna pop off and y'all gonna need her merch. And <laughs> I have okay. oh, like you already know. I'm gonna practice like you like this, you like that. <laughs> I love it. Um, so go get her merch support. Um, we are oh, over time. Yeah. Natasha, do you have? But what? It's not that bad. It looks like no. We're doing good. And the conversation, uh, Tiana's dropping some gems. So. Um, let's, if, if anyone in the chat has any questions, um, we'll take Someone a couple of questions and like wrap it up. In the bikinis, which, um, I, I, you, you, fine. you already know my relationship with Megan is stallion. Okay. Cause that's my girl. <laughs> that's my girl. I love some Megan. Yeah. <laughs> that is the only person I can like. I love Megan too. I, I got low with him today. I was like, oh, I got some Megan. I got some knees. Making knees, making knees. <laughs> I'll I'll be mid warm up and then just run up on Tiana and just start. I'll just give her one little lyric and then go right back to. Her. <laughs> yeah, you'll hype me up. Uh, since oh, someone said since you they didn't say this part. They said since they didn't say since you are such a track fan. But who were your track idols growing up? Oh man, woo, Carmelita, Shelly, um, uh. Uh, Veronica Campbell Brown, um, mm -hmm. Ojo, <laughs> like there, there's so many, <laughs> there's so many women that I've like, Student. like studied. Yeah, there's so many women that I've studied for you know to in, for the hundred and the two hundred, honestly. But I'm yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I I I admire I admire a lot of women that are in the track and field uh, world or have been in the track and field world. Um, people want to know if you're offering yoga classes online. If not, we'll just start track girl summer yoga with Tiana Daniels. We'll get that popping. But do you offer online classes? Because apparently that's what I have to take them. I do not right now. And right now I kind of just want to have some time to myself to like decompress. But I would definitely let you guys know when I start that because I can definitely do that during the fall. Mm -hmm. Come back to Track Girl Summer and the show. Definitely. Definitely. They want to know if both of y'all are trying to run the 200, Natasha and and Tiana. Yeah, for sure. I'd love the 200. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'm with it. Okay. Um, uh, oh, and what's your height? Oh, yeah. I'm five. You're five seven. Hmm? Harder than me? That's crazy. Why do I, I look taller? I thought you were taller. Than than oh, no. Five seven, honey. Oh, I know. You know, I'm five, I, I tell Corey all the time it's the presence that makes us. Yeah. You're taller than we are. You should mm -hmm. have a grand presence. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. I appreciate that. I thought you were at least my height. Gosh. Um, 151, guys. We broke Monday's record. Tiana brought woo -woo. to the party. Turn up. Turn up. <laughs> um, See? I have to ask a question. I think, honestly, I think, both, I think both of them will go. I'm being real. Oh, the... The question, Abigail Cameron. She she asked the question, but I think <laughs> Corey, are you six three? Yes, Corey is six three in her head. Big body, in her mind. Big body. Corey the stallion. <laughs> okay, right. I like this question, Abigail. If you could pick an all time four by one team, who would it be? So all the the Ooh, presents to so the athletes Ooh. that you study, and, and and I want I want to know which leg they're running. Yeah. Oh, and thank you, Rob Ramsey, for the fifty dollars super, super chat. Cash. Thank you. Um. Oh man, oh, that's so good. Um, before you say that, um, someone asks, "Is their height required?" No one's in the low fives. Um, Mommy Rockets in the low fives. Yeah. And uh, and um, Des Bryant. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're I mean, like five uh, two. Has a variety. Like Chai has a big variety. Kenny's five yeah. four. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I don't know really. tall me, like, there's some short girls on the track. Um. Okay. Let's get. Let's get into this four by one. Four by one this. all time dream team. Oh, I kind of wish oh, I had more. Right that's now. how we're closing it out. Okay, USA or no? Ooh. It's a different. Ah. Any any woman. That's USA, too bad. Jamaica. Poland, Italy, your oh, all time faves. Maybe not women from I the mean, 80s, but you block. No. I mean, I can't even think. Like, it's collegiate. Uh, so many people that I'm thinking about. Honestly, like, right now, I'm thinking about first leg. Makai Briscoe and Tiana Bartoletta are like my top two for first leg right now. Okay. But okay, 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 okay. But there's also so many other women too that could be first. Like, there's so many options. I don't know, y'all. I can't decide. You I got to. You have to. You have to. Come on, you can do it. So, so okay. you can put Tiana, Tiana or Briscoe on your first. Yeah, for sure. Briscoe can get out the blocks, boy. But you gotta pick. I gotta pick a second leg. No, you gotta. Oh. You gotta pick a first leg out of those two. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Mm, Tiana, oh Briscoe, no, because Briscoe, my dog. But I don't know. It's hypothetical. Nobody's gonna be mad. I know. Okay, I'll pick. I'll pick Tiana. Okay. So if we're talking like peak, if we're talking like everybody at their peak. Yes. Tiana. And think about as the energy Tiana brings to a relay. For sure. Yeah. Tiana, who all time. Everyone say Tiana. 
Yeah, to I'm gonna take myself out of it. Tiana, no, to, no, no. Put yourself there, in guess. there. Okay. Just think about how fun running on that relay would be. It's your dream relay. Aren't you in your dreams? I'm gonna just do USA. Tiana to Flojo to Ashford to me. Oh, you bringing that team home? You said. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I mean, Thank shout out to chat. everybody, but yeah. like. Thank you for yeah. the super chat. Thank you. I like it. I like it. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm glad we didn't do all world because if we had to put the Jamaicans in there too, I like. <laughs> it's like, it's not fair. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, and you used to write Carmelita too. It's just that wasn't a fair road. That wasn't a fair. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. But we get yeah. after it sometimes, and you know, it, it's meant to be fun. So yeah, can't pick everybody. Right. Just be, and I only pick myself only because I would love to be. Because that's I would love to be on that relay. <laughs> yeah. You don't need no explanation. You deserve to be on that relay. It's it's your dream team. Thank you. Hello. Sorry, COVID was reverse sneezing, so I had to get my baby. Single mom, you know how it goes. Hi, COVID. Um, you are the sweet. Where's my baby? Where's where's who? My baby. You talking about Chris? Chris? Chris is at the at my mama's house. Terrence and my ankle. All your all what? of your most prized possessions with your mom. Yeah, I trust her the most. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah just, I definitely trust her the most. Um, Victoria, Victoria wants to know if we made it to the bank. We're going to the bank on Saturday, <laughs> 9 Central. We have an appointment at Wells Fargo. Dang, you ain't got to tell the people where we <laughs> The shirts will be live. But if you guys, here's the thing. You can't buy Track Girl Summer merch yet. But what you can do is buy Tiana Daniels merch at fanarts.com. Oh. Info is like in the energy. description. Thank you, and I, 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 I just want Tiana to know the fans see her and cheer for her. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you, everybody. I appreciate the support so much. Like, I see it, and I really love it, guys. For real. We love we you, have, We have to do the business account, apparently, in person with Wells Fargo, and we have to be to, we have to be together or doing it. We have to do it at the same time. We're, we're trying to figure it out. I'm sorry. Um, we should do it each week so we can. Thank you, Aisha, for the link. Yeah. Check out Tiana's merch. Please. Yes, you guys. Like, buy her merch. Wear it. You guys say the fans are with her. Let's wear her shirts. Come to the meet. Put it on. Mm -hmm. Have her here. And then mm -hmm. and then and then you know Christmas is coming up, right? Thank gifts, you know. Right. If you need the trick or treat, give the kid a Tiana Daniel shirt, okay? Great. Great. And also follow me on Instagram, guys. And my yes. all of my handles is, I guess. Yes, plug it. Oh, it's right there. Good job, Natasha, for putting it on the screen. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. J Lo video productions. I hope you saw that. We're, we're producing. Um, um, is there anything? All of those are really great relays, by the way. I see the comments as well. Really great relays. I'm go I'm gonna go to Tiana to Tiana to Tiana to Tiana. Okay, Dylon, 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 Dylon. Um, if there can be three other me, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> the role does. The role really does. Uh, Tiana, thank you so much for coming on. Um, they asked for you on Monday. You came here on here on Wednesday. We appreciate you. You on are a vacation. joy. You are, you are a joy. You are a light. Um, yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Enjoy your vacation. Yeah. 
Come right. back to Track Girl Summer anytime that you like. Oh, wow. definitely. Thank you for dropping these gems tonight. Wow. Yes, Ashe, Ashe. Ashe means to declare something and, you know, make a change. So, Ashe, to y'all. I hope y'all have a, a great rest of y'all night. I hope everybody that tuned in has a great night. And, yeah. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Um, I don't Ashe. know why. <laughs> Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Ashe. Ashe, Ashe. Count on Corey. Um, <laughs> Count on Corey. <laughs> you know, like just like I love John, Corey. Like, though. I, 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 I um, people are already asking for you back. We have gotten off the first one, <laughs> but we feel it. Um, well, guys, that was track. Oh, let me do the outro. Let me get I should have it memorized by now, but. Thank you guys for coming to Track Girl Summer. We've had a great time. Make sure you follow Track Girl Summer here on the YouTubes, on the Instagrams, on the Twitters. Um, we'll be having clips from this this live up on Twitter. Uh, not on Twitter, on Instagram. I don't know. Um, follow me at the Corey Monster. Follow Natasha at Natasha Hastings. Follow, follow Tiana Daniel. Buy her merch and send her. And send her, you know. Are you Tiana Daniels on Cash App or Venmo? So, yeah, you know, actually, it's actually so, you know, that, that's an option too. Um, mm. And we'll be back, same place, maybe different time, <laughs> but we'll be back on Friday with our Lazan breakdown. Um, we'll let you know maybe, at some point, you know. Hey, listen, we scheduled today's show, okay? We had a, a link, the time was off, but we scheduled. We had thumbnails. <laughs> we had info. <laughs> Consistency. We, we're trying. Like we're getting better. It's still we're still like struggling, but we're getting better, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just a start. I mean, I I love with y'all what y'all are doing. Y'all are giving athletes such a great platform to talk and actually share their their experience and their voices. So I I appreciate this a lot. Like for real. Because nobody would know like how I really am unless I at least unless I put it out there or if we have platforms like this. So I appreciate y'all. You know, we try on <laughs> that note. Thank you, Tiana. That was <laughs> why we do what we do. I'm on track all summer with Tiana Daniels. Can you can I call you back? <laughs> we're literally we're literally finishing up the show. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> So if you don't answer his phone call, he'll text you and like, why why didn't you answer your phone? <laughs> um, all I wanted to say is remember, no matter what time of the year it is, it's always a track all summer, baby. That's our show. Bye. Thanks, Tiana. Bye, Bye. Bye guys. Bye. What happened? I don't know. I don't you control things. <laughs>